What's up, everybody? Back at you more Five Us Ten Two, the blind let's play. We're in, we're going to the final part of the game now. Now it's probably really, really going to be boring to watch, so I'm going to add out a lot, of, a lot of the fights. Because, well, I'm over leveled, you see. You're going down. That's the spirit. This guy is immune to physical attacks. My pain is your pain. One darkness spell takes him out. Yay! Now, if I was actually playing for real here like blind and didn't do all these side quests and stuff I probably would have died a lot down here so it probably would have been a lot more interesting but you see I'm already over leveled I'm at I'm currently on 69% and I want to try and get as much percentage as possible so unfortunately I can't really I can't really sh uh, show you uh, me at an average level, I guess. I mean, I probably could if I uh, went back through my saves, but as I said, I'm trying to get as much. Uh, I'm trying to get as much percentage as possible. So probably the the final boss of of the entire game is probably not going to be interesting at all because I like I said I'm over leveled and I could probably kill it in like two hits maybe <laughs> okay maybe not two hits but Yeah, these things are complete cunts because they. You have to kill them with magic and not uh, physical attacks. As I learned in the Vera Inferno. But you see, if I did not go to the Vera Inferno and fought these guys when I should, I would have died by that flare attack and probably other moves as well. Oh, I basically did a circle, god damn it. I tell you what guys. This Iron Duke item makes things so much easier. And there's a reason why you, you get it after you beat the Vera Fino. Because if you got it before the Vera Fino, you'd probably be able to defeat the entire place. <laughs> without e with ease. Now I should have did what I did in my Final Fantasy X Let's Play and uh cutscene. The Magna Sisters, wow. These guys probably aren't a threat to me because I already I might be strong enough to take them all down. Watch this. <laughs> now that would probably hurt if I was uh, under leveled. Let's see where we go. Two attacks and the all dead. Fucking hell. Damn, that was so unfair. That was unfair of me.
Yeah, that was so unfair that uh, I'm, I'm over leveled. And as, as I was trying to say earlier, before like, uh, I go to the boss fight, uh, I should have did what I did in my Final Fantasy X Let's Play and beat the game first and then do the um, side quests and stuff. But, meh, like, I did it this way. I am very sorry, ladies and gents, that I'm overleveled and I can take down everything in the entire game and with absolute ease. But you see, but you see, like I said before, I'm, I'm trying to get um, as close to 100% as possible in my first playthrough. And if I have to be overleveled for that, so, then so be it. I'm currently, I am currently on 69%. Haha, <laughs> jokes, blah blah blah. Yep. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Anima! Okay. How quick did I defeat you? Me. I wonder. I did not mean to use darkness. Yeah, as I thought. Real quick, real easy. Wow. Immortal Soul Gamma Grid. Yuna. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough to stop him. We wanted to at least warn someone, but instead, we were dragged into the darkness. We're no better than fiends. It's alright. Forgive us. Please, tell me, what is he? Shuyin? Just a shadow. It may look like him, but the real Shuyin died long ago. Even after a thousand years, his hate and misery linger on. His feelings grew so strong they began to act on their own. Eventually, they became a shadow, a shade that wants only to vanish, but cannot. Just a shadow. I can handle a shadow. Are you sure? Yes. Leave it to me. I'll banish shadow with light. Light? Lens feelings. That's right. Call it love. Come on, game. This ain't no Kingdom Hearts. Come on. Alright, we're in the far plane. Well, I guess we already were in the far plane. Oh, hi guys. Hey! <laughs> you certainly took your sweet time. Why are you here? Because the boss never goes against Lord Nuge's wishes. You found him? As we was heading in, we found the sphere addressed to the boss! He said, <clears throat> Don't follow me. Turn back now and wait for my return. Actually doing what you're told? How novel. What can I say? One look at Nuji Wuji's dashing visage on that sphere and I was, oh, charmed. How could I say no to such a cutesy wootsy face?
What if he... Don't worry. If he knows you're waiting, he has a reason to come home. <sighs> and wait I shall. We'll tell him that you're waiting like a good girl. You do that, love. And don't forget to stress, good girl. Ah, sure. Okay. Ah, that might come in handy. I forgot to restock since uh, the very video. Decide my fans are on watch. Take them on. You can kiss those three face goodbye. Of course, not even the smart fans are standing. Get the chance now. Yeah, okay. Oh, the path seems to stretch up into a nothingness thing that must be my way. Uh -huh, so uh, this place is pretty or oh, just creepy. Oh, I did not mean to go in. Oh well. Oh, well. Let's let's keep going. Fine. This place looks fun. Play the keyboard. Sure. Oh fuck. What? So me right. Oh, okay, it tells you. Okay. Let's try this again. So come on, hurry up. Me. Right. Well, that wasn't hard. Let's keep going. Okay, we could probably still kill everything in one shot down here. Let's, let's see. Let's take a boom. Yeah, one shot, one shot. There's enough pain to go around. Tila. God damn it. No. Oh. Fuck you. Hey, look who it is. A mega weapon. You fight mega weapon down here. So obviously this guy would be a pain in the ass to kill if I was under levels. But as you already know, I've said it about three, four times by now, I'm over level. 
and that's that's for me it's actually kind of annoying that I'm actually over level for this, but um, in a way I don't really care because uh, this this last play has been going on for quite a while, and I've got other things to do and stuff. Not trying to be a complete dick or anything, but there you go. Uh, so, uh, what was it again? Do. T. La, was it? We'll see. Oh, there's another one? Oh! Get the best over here, isn't it? Fuck you! Damn it. Okay, so... Oh! What? It tells you at the bottom. Do... T... La... So you definitely can't, cannot forget, because it tells you at the bottom. Thanks, game. You're, you're so kind. Oh, look who it is, the Guardian thing. But it's not the Guardian thing. This guy's gonna die soon, thanks to Catnip. Got quite a bit of health. Of course. This guy must be pretty difficult. If I was the correct level, of course, he would be difficult, because he actually took a while to kill, and, uh, that was shenanigans. Just that, just that breath attack does only a thousand HP, but, uh, Riku's a max, de max defense, so I'm, I'm assuming that would have done at least three thousand. So, once again, I do apologize for me being over- Ah, what the fuck? Man.
Ah! I hate this electric fence thing. It's so frustrating. Make a weapon once again. Let's see him. Oh, if so, okay. Face and die though. Yep. In a way, being over leveled helps because I end the out the let's play faster, but it's not as entertaining killing everything in like one shot. It's pretty much uh, it's pretty much the motto of the main story. It's for that's, that's exactly what it is. That's annoying that that electrical piece of shit. I hate that stuff. No point in me sharing the keyboard part because uh, it sh it tells you exactly at the bottom what to use and do and stuff. God, careless. Are you all right? I could use a nap. Where's Newt? He went ahead. Guess she couldn't stay away. I never said where I would wait. Well then please, take care of Kippo. You dare give me an order? Look, we'll tell Newt you're waiting like a good girl and doing your part for the team. All right, I'm in. Hey, Dr. P. A gift from Nuge. It's from two years ago. Said it was inside the sphere camera. I'll watch it later. Hey. You should watch it now. Think about it. You know you won't be able to fight your best as long as it's on your mind. You're right. What do you got in mind for fun? Any ideas, Dr. P? Me? A ship that glides through the air. That thing you mentioned before. If it's for real, I want to fly it. You get to be pilot then. And maybe I'll try my hand at navigation. Then I'll be engineer. Nuge? Captain. Ah, that's perfect. You'd let an amateur be captain? Chill out, Nuchster. All you gotta do is shut up and look important. You'll fit the part. Like a club. <laughs> I'll work it like dogs. <laughs> what happened to that pain, I wonder? She's inside you, sleeping. Well, wakey, wakey! Time to set sail! Your captain and your navigator are waiting.
Alright, here we go. You again, really? God, he takes a long time to kill. that once we go on ahead, there's no turning back. A hunch. Yeah. That's it? A hunch it is, then. So this might be the end here, or at least the final part of uh, Yeah, it definitely looks like the last part here. This is Vecna again, I think. Um, actually looking the map while doing this. Oh, going up here now. Up here. Um, okay. Uh, I think this might be a good place to end, actually. Because if this is the last boss coming up, and, uh... Location, Vagnagam. See, this is Vagnagan. Okay, so in the next one, we're going to take down Vagnagan. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you probably in the final episode of the Blind Let's Play. Our final Fancy 10 I'll see you then.